welcome back everyone so today video will be for the chrome users and if you enjoy the google chrome browser on your windows or mac pc and laptop then you must know these top 10 chrome flag that can really help you while operating the chrome browser so let's quickly get started now if you want to open the chrome flag what you have to do click on the chrome search bar and type chrome colon double forward slash and flags now this will list you all kind of flag that you can enable and disable it so the first flag that i will be sharing with you will be related to the downloading speed that will be increasing and boosting the downloading speed on your google chrome browser so what you will have to do click on your search flag that is on the top and you have to type here parallel and in the suggestion you will be getting parallel downloading and it says enable parallel downloading to accelerate download speed on mac windows linux chrome os and android if you're using any of the operating system then you can enable this option and on the drop down on the right hand side you have to click on it and choose enabled now it will ask you to relaunch so you can relaunch right now or you can relaunch after enabling all the chrome flags and now the next one that you have to search you will have to click on the search flags and type QUIC and in the suggestion you will be getting experimental QUIC protocol now QUIC protocol is a combination of TCP and the UDP uh, protocol that are used by many of the website and if you enable this option then you can enjoy the fastest browsing and the surfing on many of the website so you can go ahead and enable this option so click on the drop down and choose enabled and now the next one is heavy ad so what you will have to do is type in the search heavy ad and in the suggestion you will be getting heavy ad privacy mitigations so this chrome flag will basically help you to reduce the heavy kind of advertisement that comes while browsing or opening any kind of website even you can read here it says enable privacy mitigation for the heavy ad intervention disabling this make the intervention deterministic default to enable mac windows linux okay so what you will have to do you have to enable this option and then it will be helping you to reduce the heavy ad that come on your website and then we have the autofill prediction so again you have to type autofill and in the suggestion you will be getting show autofill prediction so once you enable this option while uh, filling any kind of information while filling any kind of form you will be getting the autofill suggestion so that it can save your time even if you forget any of the information it will automatically pick the information and it says annotates web form with autofill field type prediction as placeholder text and applicable for mac windows linux chrome and android so this will be also very helpful for you so what you can do you can click on the drop down and choose enabled and then next we have the dark mode so if you want to enable the dark mode for the web content like while opening any kind of website on your chrome browser and if you want that it should come in the dark mode like right now you can see this is a website and it's coming in the light mode and as soon as i will click on the drop down here and choose it to enabled and then if i relaunch so you will find the website will now be loading up in the dark mode now next one is another very important flag so what you will have to type here hide media metadata when incognito so if you are more concerned about the security and the privacy while using the incognito mode then you must enable this option because this will be improving the security because many times when you are incognito and you access any kind of media player then all the information gets saved in the operating system and you can read here it says when enabled media metadata will be hidden from your os media player if you are in an incognito session okay so in order to improve the privacy you can just go ahead and enable this option and now next we have the smooth scrolling so you have to type smooth and in the suggestion you will be getting a smooth scrolling that says animate smoothly when scrolling page content and applicable for windows linux chrome and android so if you want that while uh, watching any kind of content while reading any kind of page the scrolling should be very smooth to get you the better performance better experience then you should go ahead and enable this option and now next we have the back forward cache so if you often find yourself using the back and the forward navigation key 
in chrome to navigate uh, any kind of website and search result this will be one of the best chrome flag that you need because it will be enabling all those options and fixing many kind of problem even you can read it says if enabled caches eligible pages after cross site navigation to enable caching pages on the same site navigation to choose enable same site support okay so again you have to select and choose enabled and then next we have the hover cards so if you type hover cards you will be getting tab hover card images so it's especially helpful when you are dealing with lots of chrome tab basically if you enable this flag then a preview image of the tab will show in the form of a hover card so if you enable this option and again click on relaunch so you can see the preview will be shown here so this can be really helpful for you to enjoy the better experience while using the chrome browser and this will be even more useful when you work on multiple tab so that period of time it can be really helpful for you to save some kind of time while just hovering up you can find many information okay now the last one that we have is the gpu rasterization and once you search for gpu you will be getting this option that says use gpu to rasterize web content now chrome generally uses the cpu to render web pages and deliver content to users however you can enable the gpu rasterization flag in chrome which will be offload some of the page rendering task to the gpu this will free up some of the cpu usage that can help you to reduce the cpu usage and increase the performance of your computer now this can be really helpful for the people who have the problem of high cpu usage they must go ahead and enable this option all right so now after doing all these changes finally you will have to click on relaunch and after that you will be finding a great change on your chrome browser you will be having a better experience and better optimization so that's all guys for today hopefully you will enjoy this video and found this flag very useful for your chrome and if yes let me know in the comment section that which chrome flag you like the most and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye